Welcome to HFS 2043, Introductory to Analytics. This is the online version of the course. Over this next five weeks, I hope that you will learn to appreciate statistics, if not even eventually enjoy it. I know that might be a tall order for, for some of you, but it really isn't as bad as you might think it is. Now, of course, it is only five weeks, so you're gonna have to be really dedicated to this course, to statistics. In a typical semester, uh, students tend to spend about 12 hours a week on average on the course. And remember, we're only spending about a third of that time here in five weeks instead of 15, which means you probably want to go ahead and dedicate and plan about 36 hours a week for this course. So that means you need to look at your schedule. And if you have a lot going on where you can't dedicate that amount of time to this course, then I'd highly recommend that you uh, potentially drop this course for this semester and pick it up during a semester where you have more time in a fall or a, a spring semester when you have 15 weeks to, to work with. Now, I would like to talk a little bit about myself. Uh, my name is Robert Bubb. It's always good for you to know who your instructor is. And this is my office that is behind me here. You can see I have a, a bookshelf there. They say you can tell a lot by someone's office, so I'll just do a quick tour through it. You can take a look uh, at what's in here. Now, usually everything in here has some sort of story. I'm not going to go into all of that here just for the, the first day, but if you're ever curious, feel free to ask either during uh, an office hour or you can send me an email if you're curious about some object or something that's in the back uh, of, uh, in the background inside my, my office. But here's the bookshelf. There's a lot of books there. Uh, most of them I have at least looked at. If not, not read. You'll see that there are some mementos up there. If you look right over here, you'll see there's some family pictures uh, of, of myself, my kids, my wife. Um, if we go a little bit towards the door here, you're going to see that there are some clothes hanging in the corner. I do ride my bike to campus, and so I change when I get here, and so those clothes are there uh, for when I make the, that adjustment before going to, to work and going into the classroom. You also notice there's a table there. There's also some chairs, so when I have students over in the office, we can set up some spaces to work and have some chairs to, to work with as well. It is a functional office. So what I mean by that is my desk is a standing desk and you'll see it right here behind me. Um, and then I do have some folding tables for when students come, we can meet. It gives me a lot of space in here and allows me to, to be very flexible with what I do with my time. Now over here, there's some more uh, shelves. You see how some awards from when I played college football. Also have some teaching awards there as well. Um, feel free to ask me about those uh, if you like. Uh, in the far corner of my office, I have a refrigerator as well as a microwave. Uh, so that way, um, on those busy days, I don't have to stop and go get lunch. I have it all here, ready to go. And of course, I have my whiteboard behind me that I use when I'm working with students, as well as keeping track of some of the things I need to, to do. So that's a basic tour of um, my office. Now, um, I probably want to know a little bit more about me. Uh, so I have a doctorate degree in industrial organizational psychology. It's a lot of words for business psychology. Um, I also spent about four years as an academic advisor. So if you have any questions about graduate school, uh, please feel free to, to talk to me, ask me questions about that. I have some grad prep assignments too that if you would like to start preparing for graduate school, um, you can take a look at those uh, as well. Um, I'm in my 13th year teaching. I've taught uh, industrial organizational psychology. I have taught introductory to psychology. I've also taught statistics, obviously. Of course, I'm teaching now. I've taught research methods as well. Um, and I've spent some time teaching on the teaching of uh, psychology. Now, I do also have a particular research interest as well. I study the preservation for, uh, for local African American history uh, here in Auburn. I do a lot of cemetery work because that's where you find a lot of the stories of some really important people in the community uh, that had contributed to, to Auburn and to Lee County. And so if that sounds of interest to you, feel free to, to ask me questions about it. I love talking about it. It's something I'm very passionate about as well. So on a more personal note, um, I am married. Uh, I've been married to my wife, Rebecca, for um, 15 years now. We have four children. My oldest child, her name is Katharina. She's 12 years old, we call her Katie. My second oldest is Abigail, we call her Abby. She is nine years old. My son is six, his name is James. We don't really have a shortened version of that, so it's just James. And then my youngest is Samantha, she is two years old, and we call her uh, Sammy. Now I will have two virtual office hours um, each day from Monday to Thursday. Those times are set aside where I'll have a video meeting that we can talk face to face, uh, at least virtually. Um, you can always reach me as well um, through, through email, so feel free to, to reach out if you have questions about the course, if you have questions about any of the assignments, if you have questions about the content, or if you'd like to chat about grad school, whatever it may be. 
Um, those times are there for you. I want you to do well in the course. I'll do what I, what I can to help you with that. At the end of the day, you have to learn the material, but I'll do whatever I can to, to help you. So that's just a little bit about me. I want to get to know you a little bit uh, as well, because I don't think I could be a good instructor if I don't know who you are. Now, I do have a picture roll, uh, but obviously it doesn't tell me anything specific about you. So what I'd like you to do on the next page after you finish this video is fill out some information about you. So give me your, your name, your major, um, something interesting about you, and a few other questions there uh, as well. That'll help me, especially in this virtual environment, to get to know you a little bit better. Um, because like I said, I can't help you if I don't know who you are. I can't expect you to do well if I don't know who you are. And so um, I really do want to, to know you by the end of the semester, not only by name, by face, but also something a little bit about you. So that's just a quick introduction um, to me and the course. I hope to get to know you a little bit over these next five weeks. Um, and so if you have any questions, feel free to, to let me know. I'll go ahead and let you continue on to that next page where you can fill out some information so that I can get to know you.